Hello to you and welcome to Adelante Chicago. I'm Lourdes Duarte. Thank you so much for joining us today. Bienvenidos. Well, this week he made the announcement Alderman Ricardo Munoz plans to retire once his term is over next year. Munoz represents one of the largest Latino neighborhoods here in Chicago. He's going to be joining us in studio. But first, our Patrick Elwood has a look back at the work he's done in those 25 years. Take a look. Rich Daly and Rahm Emanuel. In the last 25 years of office, Alderman Ricardo Munoz has had his ups and downs and ins and outs with both mayors. He calls Daly the better politician, but he can work with the manual. I work with the mayor on issues, but I also challenge him. We challenge him on police accountability. We challenge him on police size of the force. We challenge him on TIFs. We challenge him on a number of issues. He's proud of what he's done for his diverse ward that has a strong Latino population. I've built five new grammar schools, one new high school, two libraries and a police station, all with public money in the neighborhood. And he's proud of this as well. I have learned a lot. The only thing I have to say is I'm sober today. That was one of the problems I had back in 2008, 9, and 10. So at 53, this married father of two children, one son and one daughter in their 20s, what's next? Thank you to our Patrick Elwood, and that is the question right now, right? What is next for Alderman Ricardo Munoz as he will leave office at the end of his term in May? Thank you for coming in and talking to us. Thank you for having me. All right, so what is next? What will you be doing? I'm going to write the next chapter of my life. Mm -hmm. I'm only 53. I actually don't qualify for my pension until I turn 55, which is in 2020. Uh, but I'm happy. My wife is happy. My children are happy. And by the way, it's a boy and a girl, not uh, two oh, boys. Okay, a boy Patrick, and a girl. Uh, I, I talked to Patrick. He was going to correct that. Uh, but I'm ready. Okay. 25 years in the neighborhood. So ready for what? Do you have something already set up that no. you're going to be doing? Are you kind of exploring options? I got what options. Are we? I got okay. Options. And are the options politics? Uh, they're public service. Okay. Uh, one option is joining a non-for-profit in the neighborhood that's building the new hospital. Another option is maybe joining the Pritzker administration. Uh, another option is uh, staffing uh, my colleagues, the Progressive Caucus in the city council, becoming the executive director of the Progressive Caucus. Uh, those are all options. Uh, in the last 48 hours, I've gotten three job offers. Rick, come work for us. I'm weighing them all. Uh, okay. I want to be able to take a little time off. I'm alderman until May, first week in May when the next term gets sworn in. And my job is to continue serving the residents of the 22nd Ward, helping my successor win the election. That's Michael Rodriguez uh, in the 22nd Ward. And just being a private citizen. Okay. It's been a while. Taking a little time off. Yeah. Okay. Uh, why at this point? What led you to decide, look, I've been doing this for 25 years. For all intents and purposes, you're doing really well. You've accomplished a lot of the things that you've been wanting to do. Uh, the Progressive Caucus, the Latino Caucus, kind of on a high note right on a now. High note. Uh, so, you know, a lot of people <laughs> don't leave when things are going well. Look, in my ward organization, locally, we now have a couple of state reps, a county commissioner, a congressman, mm -hmm. an alderman, and a committeeman. The war organization is solid, so locally we're good. Uh, at the citywide level, I've been able to work on policies and politics that benefit every Chicagoan. Uh, we were able to elect somebody else other than Joe Barrios so that we can fix the property tax system uh, in the name of Fritz Kagey. Uh, we elected Jesus Garcia, congressman, so he's the congressman-elect till November. Um, on a high note... Do you feel like there's nothing else left to do? No, 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 no. There's plenty of work to do, but I'm ready to open the door for new leadership, younger leadership. I'm happy. I've Look, in the neighborhood, we've been able to build five new grammar schools, two libraries, a police station, a couple of daycare centers, and a YMCA, all within two miles of each other infrastructure. I've been able to invest five billion dollars of public monies into the ward. We have a job corps in the ward. Uh, we, we have a brand new high school, well not brand new, it's almost 16, 17 years old now, but we built a high school for the west side of the neighborhood. Those are all great things. You can actually yeah. knock on the door and there's bricks and mortar. I'm happy. 
You're happy. And one of the things that you said to me when I called you and talked to you uh, earlier, you said, I am so happy. Can you feel sort of the excitement in my voice that you're taking on this next it's a move? New chapter. Does a lot of it, though, have to do with kind of the way that politics is going these days? There's kind of a lot of division and a lot of um, uh, infighting, I guess you could call no, it. But that's no, what not le at all. that's not leading at all. you to. Uh, democracy is messy, mm -hmm. elections are messy. But at the end of the day, whenever anybody comes to see me and says, hey, Rick, I'm thinking of running for this office or that office or this office, I tell them, close your eyes. Imagine it's Wednesday after Election Day and you won. What are you going to do differently? ¿Qué vas a hacer? Right. What are you going to do differently and better? So uh, I understand that elections are messy. There will be a competition to see who's the next alderman. We will be supporting Michael Rodriguez. Uh, Why Michael? great guy from the neighborhood. Grew up. I've, I discovered him. I found him on the baseball fields of Piotrowski Park coaching Little League. Mm -hmm. Family man, has two children, owns a house right around the corner from my house down the block. Uh, has invested in his neighborhood. Uh, he used to work for Enlace's neighborhood uh, sure. violence prevention initiative. Uh, he's now a professional. He's a solid guy from the neighborhood. There's also a mayoral election coming up. Uh, do you endorse the I don't mayor? Have a, do I don't, you have? I don't have a horse in the race. Nobody excites me. Are you planning to endorse a candidate? I gotta see if I gotta see what the field looks like after petitions. Okay. One of the big uh, topics of conversation within the Latino community has been that there is not a Latino candidate in the race. Do you see that changing? Uh, there, there probably will be. It's early in the campaign. Petitions don't hit the streets till August 28th. There probably will be a Latino candidate uh, in 2019. And I've, and I've been telling people, who knows, I might run in 2023. I got to get some experience as an executive running a shop and then maybe run in 2023. I'm going to stay wow, active. Wow, that's pretty bold. I'm going to stay active. Okay. My options are... But you're not running in 2019. I'm not running okay. in 2019. All don't right. don't worry about that, Ram. <laughs> I'm not running. All right, we got it. Uh, well, we're very happy for you. I know you're very excited, and there's lots of uh, good things to come uh, oh, in your future. There goes my phone again. Say yeah, it ain't, you said that you, you've been getting ain't. a lot of messages. Say it ain't so, Rick. Yeah, uh, and a lot of them coming from the people in your neighborhood that neighborhood are now kind of concerned about what comes next. Is there something that you you want to see happen once you leave in the little village community like what what are you looking forward to in that neighborhood looking forward to electing up. Michael Rodriguez mm -hmm. as the next alderman of the 22nd Ward and making sure that we build that hospital at 31st and Kedzie okay uh, that's one of that's one I'm gonna be one of my main big projects public service projects that I want to work on okay Ricardo Munoz alderman with the City Council we appreciate all your work 25 years thank you good luck to you